I'm Sharon from tailormadeyarns.co.uk. I'm going to show you today um, Wednesday, Black Wednesday Dale Wool. Um, it's my favourite fleece, it's my favourite yarn. Um, this is um, a spun, hand spun yarn of Wednesday Dale long locks. Um, I like all the long lock wools, Wednesday Dale's my favourite. And I like to um, spin my yarns with the locks still in. Here we have my Leicester Long Wool, and you can see how I spin the Leicester Long Wool in my other video. Very similar to the Wednesday Dale. So this is the Leicester Long Wool, and if I show you the Wednesday Black and the Wednesday Dale, and hopefully, sorry, it's all tied together where I've washed and set my skein. So if I hold that, you can, might be able to just see all the lumps and bumps and locks. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spin my Wednesday Dow long wool. You might see Daisy wandering around my studio. And are you going to lay down? Dogs and children are always get in the way. So this is my Wednesday Dow long wool this lovely lush black. Now normally in traditional spinning we would use a flick carder and flick all these lovely long locks out. And I'll show you these locks. Okay. So normally we would flick card this out by having it on your lap and just flick carding each end to open up the staple and the fibres. With this type of spinning, I like to pull out and tease out the fibres, leaving the locks still in. So we get to become, we get a mass of locks like this. Okay, all right. And I'm going to spin on my country spinner and just prepare. Now, as you can see, I have been spinning some already. Now you can see there's locks here already where I've been spinning. And all my lumps and bumps to give it texture. Okay. So, I'm just going to slip my flip flops off. Okay, just get that going. So what I do is just, I have my um, yarn here that's already spun. And with this type of spinning, I'm just laying this into this ball mass here, and I'm literally going to let it all twist in. Now, in traditional spinning, we don't want it to twist in into back into itself, but with this type of spinning, I do, because the locks are all over the place, and as I say, I call this crazy spinning sometimes because the locks are all over the place and we draft back with the right hand just letting the locks all lock in together and that produces our nice chunky textured yarn and as you can see just there and as we twist around it all integrates and connects together and there there's your your yarn there and you can see that gives all these lovely nodules of locks which I just love when you're knitting this up they all poke out and twist into your fiber giving it a beautiful texture and if we were to traditionally flick card this out we would lose all this texture and locks so I'm just letting that take in just let that, as this, I'm just gently treadling. You don't want to over twist this either because you want to knit this up. We don't want too much over twisting this. And if I just show you this skein again, this was just set in warm water. And as you can see, there's no twist in that. We haven't got any twist. Okay. And you don't want loads of twist in your fiber and as a knitter we know that if we have loads of twists in the fiber then it is um, affects your knitting all right but you can see the locks there coming out all right so we gently spin 
and we gently pull back, letting all the lumps and bumps. And as we become, if we were sort of, I've been spinning for about nine years, and traditionally before I got into art yarns, you know, we're looking for that perfect balance yarn, and we're still looking for that perfect balance yarn, even in art yarns. People think, oh, art yarns are just made out of messy wool. There's not. Art yarns are technical, um, and there is a technical side to art yarns. And you do need to have um, your basic foundation in spinning to do art yarns. Okay. So don't worry if it does break off. Just rejoin and let it ply back. Um, twist back into the and now as you can see there there's all lumps and bumps and different fibers going in all kinds of different directions just let the twist travel over that and pull back twist over and pull back and we come here don't worry just let the twist all twist into the fibers and pull back now just here it's just getting a little bit of a bit too fine I don't want it quite as fine as that so I'm just going to add a little bit more fluffier bit and it's getting the um, fibre consist consistency just right so I just want it a little bit thicker so all I do is just bring out a little bit more the yarn and rejoin again just letting the fibres twist in twist back and just overspin that just slightly okay and as you can see we're on our way again just letting all that texture and fiber fall into place Wensleydale like this is beautiful to spin as I say Wensleydale is my favorite and um, I can show you some of my other Wednesday day that I've spun and hand dyed. It's a great art yarn Wednesday day, and again, it is so versatile. Okay, so we just let it come back and let it draft in. I'm just gonna let that make that touch touch tighter. I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Just put in just a touch more. Okay. So bringing that staple back. Now I shall be knitting this into a lovely chunky uh, yeah, um, a chunky scarf where I'm going to apply and wear it with brooches like the one I'm wearing because when you wear a nice chunky brooch with these art yarns in a scarf it looks fantastic okay so as I'm coming to the end here I'll show you how to rejoin what I tend to do is fluff the yarn out okay just fluff it out a little bit okay it usually happens so quickly when I'm spinning so I've got another bit ready and again a good couple of inches you want and again start spinning and drawing back letting the yarn go in not to over tread or too much so almost let you're guiding the yarn in guiding the fibers together let it go in okay sometimes you might get an odd bit you can just pull out if it's in the way or too loose but drafting back and as you can see we've got all the little bits sticking out there and just there look at that lovely lock like a corkscrew just there so we'll carry on spinning, drawing back. Drawing back. 
And now we're just turning into autumn here in the UK. So this great black Wednesday will be fantastic in a scarf. Sometimes, as you can see, the little fibres get caught up on the hooks, but not to worry. Okay, I'm just going to pause here, show you my bobbin, okay, and the, all the little textured bits and bobs there. You can see all the little corkscrews, okay. Wensleydale is my favourite yarn. Um, the white Wensleydale is so lush, it has a lust, um, lustral texture to it and, and dyes actually grab onto the um, Wensleydale so beautifully and we've got this rainbow dyed Wensleydale here. Okay, that's been spun in exactly the same way that I've plied with a commercial um, silver uh, yarn. Okay, this is available in my shop at tailormadeyarns.co.uk. It's been wonderful to share this with you. Thank you for your time.